they experiment and I kind of point them around and say, what if you did that like this? And what if you did it like this? And it's sort of like this very fluid conversation between me and the dancers in the studio. So they play a huge role in the actual creation of the, of the movement and the, the emotion of, of the work. So I'm Natalie Weir and I'm currently resident choreographer with Queensland Ballet, which is really nice because I was um, appointed resident choreographer many years ago by Harold Collins and it's a real privilege to be back here with Queensland Ballet under Lee's direction. So Lee commissioned this work, and I can't remember what year it was, about six years ago I think, for a program called Less We Forget, which was a program that was to commemorate the 100th year anniversary of the World War One, And so he asked me if I, I was interested in doing a new work um, using that as a theme, which is a fairly humongous and daunting theme, really. Um, so I thought about it a lot, what I could do that made it personal so that I felt engaged in telling a story. What, what would that story be? So the music came first. Um, the, direct, the musical director here at the time helped me f source the music, which is um, some parts of Benjamin Britten's War Requiem, uh, which was inspired by some poems um, that uses the words of some poetry by Wilfred Owen. Amazing music, very um, powerful. You can hear the men at war, you can hear the guns going off. Very, very evocative music and quite a, quite a task really to take on some of the music from that. And I started to think about war and, and um, the Anzacs and and what, what did it mean? And I thought about my own sons and what if they had to go to war when they were very, very young? Or what if a long time ago, when I was younger, if my partner had to go to war, what would that feel like? And, you know, it really made me have great respect for what the soldiers have done. And so I decided to take it from the perspective of the women, uh, we, we who were left behind. And so it was called We, we Who Are Left. So it's sort of seen through the women's eyes of the time. They were left behind. I really went down the emotional path of, of what that would feel like to, to have a, a young person that you love go to war and not know if they came back. So it sounds all very sad, but I think for, for the reason it was created, it's a very beautiful work that sort of reflects on, on war and, and how it can tear people apart that idea of separation from someone you love, but that someone you love is, is always with you even when they're not. So the way I like to work in working with the dancers, the most important thing first is to um, share the story and what my ideas on how I'm going to approach the story because it was a very specific way in which I was looking at it because I haven't had the experience of war myself, but. Um, I could understand the feelings and so those emotions were what drove the creation of the work. And so I did a storyboard, which is what I always do, each scene, which piece of music and what, what was the images or, or the ideas behind that. And so I would talk to the dancers about, about that. And then the way I create in the studio is very much, um, it feels a little bit more these days like being a director rather than a choreographer almost because I discuss the ideas and then I make suggestions for movement and what I'm trying to say and what the story is and then they experiment and I kind of point them around and say, what if you did that like this and what if you did it like this? And it's sort of like this very fluid conversation between me and the dancers in the studio. So they play a huge role in the actual creation of the, of the movement and the, the emotion of, of the work. So it was very, very collaborative. Um, and a really powerful experience. It was created very quickly in only just two weeks. There are a couple of moments that worked out even better than I'd imagined. So I decided to use the idea of the men's boots, the men's big um, sort of army boots, as a symbol of, of the soldiers at times. That played a really powerful part in that the men all went off to war young and fit, but a lot of the men didn't come back and what the women were left with were just the empty boots. So that kind of is, I think, the most burning image in the, in the work. Um, there's a moment where 
the main female, you see her standing on stage. The men have gone off for, to war and you see her standing on stage alone just holding um, the pair of boots and she drops them. And that moment is really powerful, I think, um, and done so beautifully by the dancers that perform it. And it's like that moment where they're alone in the room and they get the letter saying that their, their loved one has been killed at war. So it's that moment of absolute kind of shock and, and horror when, you, when you're alone and you're dealing with something like that. So I think that's a real emotional climax, sort of a tragic, terrible, um, very, but very poignant climax of the work. And then we see that same woman again a little bit later where she sort of dealt with the news and it's like the spirit of her, of her loved one uh, or the ghost of her loved one comes back to kind of watch over her. And you see a, a duet, a part of Der, but she doesn't see him at all because he's not really there. He's, but she can feel that someone's watching her. And I think that's very, very beautiful. And, and a little bit more happy in terms of, she remembers sort of the, the happy times that they had together, but then is the devastation that, that he will never return. And there's moments when you see it almost like they're going to kiss, but she doesn't see him, she just feels him. They're going to kiss, but they pass, almost like the ghost passes through her. And that's really very poignant to watch and dance so beautifully by the dancers. But of course, it's important when new dancers come into a role that they find a way to make it their own. I've been working with Jeanette Mulligan, who's been rehearsal director. So what she's done is retaught the movement from the footage and did a great job bringing it back to life. And then I came in and um, worked with the dancers and worked with the different casts and just tried to make it individual for, for each person that I hope that they're able to find really fulfilling they're not just dancing another person's steps, they're, they're making it into their own, their own work and, and bringing their own sensitivities and experiences and um, interpretations to it. And that makes it really special because it's, it's sort of in the moment and it's, it's a living thing. It's not sort of something, not some old thing from the past, it, it exists in today. Having Lee want to bring this work, We Who Are Left, back is, is a real honour for me uh, to be part of this program. So I'm really proud of that and I'm glad that he, he liked it so much. I'm very grateful for that and that this work gets to have another life because it was, it's only been performed for one season. Even though it was created for a very specific event, I think it, it speaks further than just for that occasion and so oh yeah it's a real honor and I, I hope that people can come and either see it again or see it for the first time it's a real gift for me to see it up there again and um, yeah a real honor that Lee chose it to be part of Lee's choice program I thank him greatly